Hey everyone, Liko here and oh, it's been such an incredible month celebrating some monumental women and trailblazers at Multi Choice. In part three, we do no different. We've got the Merging Technologies Product Manager, Bupila Maketa. How are you doing? Good, good. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. Your job title is a mouthful, but it also sounds like, you know, a dream for anyone technology driven. It is. It's a dream for any nerdy person out mm-hmm. there like me. We get to play around with the latest, shiniest technologies. Yeah. Chat GPT is all the hype right now. Mm-hmm. We are working on it in the team. We've got the most incredible AI lab yeah. with literally a PlayStation. And yeah, you guys should pop by and come try it out. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might just. It's sounding like, have you seen Megan? It's coming on Showmax, don't worry. No, um, I haven't, not yet. <laughs> it, it's, it's sounding really, really interesting. I'm, I'm going to take you up on that offer to come see Please your PlayStation do. station and all Please of that. Please do. We've got like a VR headset and everything. Okay. Lots of fun. Okay. Please do. That's very, very exciting. How did you yeah. find your way there? So I started my career out, interestingly, here at MultiChoice in their grad program. Mm-hmm. Um, I've always been in software development and then a couple of years ago I made a switch into AI Mm -hmm. as an AI engineer Um, and I suppose last year it was time for a move on and a move up and so I moved into product management within the same department emerging Mm -hmm. technologies but now my focus is not only on AI anymore but also RPA and we assist with cloud projects as well which forms part of our RPA, Robotics Process Automation. Okay, I'm going to pretend like I know what you're saying. (laughs) (laughs) The long and short of it is that we use virtual bots to Mm. automate manual tasks that a human would normally do. Okay. So if you're sitting at your machine, click, 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 over and over and over again, we automate those tasks so you can work on more exciting things and free up your time and sometimes money as well. There's a lot of... um Back and forth, you know, about the benefits of AI or, you know, some people have pointed out cons. Has it been uh, beneficial to, to you guys in your department? It has. It has been beneficial to us. It's been beneficial to the organization. We have been able to realize quite a bit of ROI. Um, but there are concerns, you know, most people are concerned around ethics, mm. around AI or RPA replacing people and taking people's jobs right the way i see it um they can never completely replace people okay there's there's jobs that are always going to need that touch of humanity Mm. that a bot or a model can never do yeah it's just gonna free people up and allow them to do more exciting things more stimulating things while we let the bots take care of the boring repetitive tasks yeah. you know and ai on the other hand honestly it can just enhance the way we do things and serve as a sort of a support if you look at chat gpt mm-hmm. right it came out a lot of developers were worried about how it can generate code does that mean we'll be out of work now mm-hmm. but truth is Most people that were writing the code for don't know what they want. And a bot is not going to help them figure it out. A chatbot is not going to help them figure it out. So that human element. That human element is Mm. still necessary. Instead, ChatGPT can then help the developers do what they need to do much faster, much more efficient. Mm. So all in all, technology is here to help us. Mm. It's not the enemy. And it's really all about how you use it. It's all about how you use it. How would you say... The women, um, women are represented in the world of tech. Women are still very much underrepresented in mm. tech, um, especially in certain roles. Right, you go into tech, you're mostly going to find women as business analysts more than you would as developers and engineers. The good news, though, is that it has it's changing. I see a lot more women now than I did when I started my career 10 years ago. Okay, that's good. You know, and, and slow change is still change, so I guess... A slow change is still change, but probably to accelerate it, yeah. those of us who are already in the industry need to be doing a bit more to support the up-and-coming women in the industry, you know, to give them guidance, help them navigate the spaces so mm-hmm. they don't drop off somewhere along the line 
minimizing the representation even further. Yeah. And more than that, I feel like it needs to start even earlier with the school kids. So, you know, somebody needs to help them believe that they can do it, that they belong here, yeah. that they don't have to go into traditionally feminine careers, if yes. I could call it that. Love that. With the lack of representation, did you have a, a mentor in the field? How important would you say it is for women in tech to, to have that mentorship? Mentorship is extremely important. Very early in my career in tech, I had a mentor who was a man because there were no women mm. or rather none that I had access to. Mm. I'm really, really grateful for all his guidance and support, but there's certain things that he was never gonna understand yeah. or be able to support me with. Yeah. I've been fortunate enough though, later in my career to find women mentors. Unfortunately, they haven't been in technology though, okay. but having moved into leadership positions i've noticed that leadership is leadership yeah you know the challenges we face tend to be similar be it within or outside of technology mm. how would you describe your leadership style i would say relaxed okay and honest but with high expectations okay how do you drive those by being honest okay but also i find that assertiveness helps yeah. assertiveness paired with kindness and empathy so you found that balance between you know being an empathetic person and also an authority figure it's a work in progress yeah i'm very very close to the balance i feel but truth is it's it's something you work on every day different challenges leave you on different sides of the scale <laughs> if i could put it that mm. way but as you go along, you grow, you learn, you improve, you know. So yeah, the balance is getting better. Did you always want to be in, in tech growing up? Baby B, was she always going to be a Surprisingly, no. Yeah? Not really. I wanted to be an actress. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't quite recall when that changed. Mm. But I do know that by late high school, I was already really fascinated by technology mm. and maths. And so the career path was a no-brainer at that point. Okay. Um, you know, it is so important for us to affirm ourselves um, in the workspace, but also where we see that affirmation is required, affirm others. Are there any women along your path that parted... Um, some affirming words that have stuck with you today? Absolutely, yeah. yes. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I've got an incredible mentor. Um, most sessions with her feel like a professional therapy session. <laughs> <laughs> and there's always just empowering words, you mm. know. But more than anything, she may not have said it in these particular words, but I feel like she's always telling me, you can do it. Yeah. Whatever the challenge is that I'm battling with at the moment, she's mm. always telling me, you're going to figure it out. I believe in you. In the later parts of my career, I've been lucky enough to meet so many incredible women in leadership who affirm me, who give selflessly of yeah. their time to guide me and just help me on my journey. I love that. And finally, for anyone who's a six-year-old, <laughs> uh, 12 year old a 21 year old who aspires to be an emerging technologies brand emerging. product manager <laughs> <laughs> and play around the car vr you know what are your parting words to those young women i would say do your best to stay relevant you know technology changes so quickly mm. don't get comfortable mm. stay upskilling and find a good mentor very early on thank you so much Bupilo. Thank you. I me. am going to follow you now to go play PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> Please do. <laughs> it's an incredible um, chat and I really, really want to wish you an amazing Women's Month. Thank you.